in 50 meters at B. Vijay Kumar Square. Pippin. Welcome to a little vlog of my 10 hour long road trip to Kodaikanal. We drove through beautiful landscapes, through mountains and lush fields. And of course, the road trip snacks. We had protein bars, chips, and other munchies all along. Oh, and extra brownie points for me, the self proclaimed passenger princess. <clears throat> It started raining just as we were entering Kodaikanal. We checked into the most beautiful Airbnb I've ever been to. The little cottage had a small living area with a comfy daybed and large windows that let in a great amount of sunlight. The kitchenette had a microwave, a kettle. The bedroom was super cute with stunning views. Here's another shot of the living area when the sun was shining bright. I got super excited and made myself a cup of tea. Here's me enjoying my tea. <laughs> Our Airbnb host had the coolest strawberry and blackberry farms. It was not strawberry season, but we managed to score one and it was super yummy. We were greeted by two adorable dogs, Honey and Waffles. For breakfast, we had freshly made strawberry jam and blackberry jam along with pancakes. In the afternoon, we drove to the Pombare village viewpoint. The drive through the pine forest was beautiful and we loved the refreshing scent of eucalyptus in the air. We had lunch from Pesiflora Art Cafe, an Italian cafe that overlooked the Pombare village. The ginger honey lemon tea was like a warm hug on a chilly day. On the way back, I had the best hot chocolate from Melty's Cafe. And at night came our piping hot and delicious dinner. This little boy came to say goodbye when we checked out of the Airbnb the next morning. Overall, the whole experience was a dream and I can't wait to go back. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of mine and I hope you have a beautiful day.